Hello, in this video I want to show you how to use uh, GeoGebra, the free uh, GeoGebra software, to graph a function on a specific interval. So I'm going to graph this function right here, 1 15th x to the 4th minus 7 20 seconds x cubed plus x, on the interval x going from minus 5 to 5 and y here going minus 5 to 5. So here I've got the GeoGebra screen open. In this we have a lot of functionality up at the top. The main thing you want to focus on is the move, drag, select items, and then move graphics view. So I have the graphics open, you should see the algebra screen. One thing I like to do right at the beginning is in the graphics screen, right click, click on grid. So you have a grid in the background. So now if I want to graph this in the bottom, in the input bar at the very bottom, I'm going to type f of x equals, and I could do uh, x to the fourth over 15, and then minus 7 times x cubed over 22 plus x, I can click on enter. And we have the graph function, the function f of x graph right here, and on the left, if I scroll this over, we can see the actual function. Okay, so uh, a couple of options we could do right here. If I wanna make sure the interval is minus five to five, and minus five to five for x and y, I don't quite have that. I wanna make sure I, I click on the background somewhere, so if I right click, I see graphics on the top, and then I could go down here to this graphics tab, and right here we'll have an x min. I could change this number to minus five, tab over, x max, make that five, and then I want to do the same exact thing for y, make this five to five. Click on enter, exit out of here, and then see we have the graph going from minus five to five and minus five to five. Other options, this graph, if I click, I highlight my mouse over the graph and right click, notice it says function now instead of graphics, I could click on object properties, and if I want, I could change what I call it. I could say, you know, f of x, show a label, and I can make this caption. Color, I could change the color to any of these colors right here, say purple. And if I click on style, I could increase the line thickness if I want to make this, say, a thicker line. So notice I've got the function, the caption f of x, thicker, and purple. Okay, one more thing we could do, I wanted to show you on this video, is GeoGebra actually will compute the derivative of f of x. Now, you, we can compute this using the power rules, not too difficult, but on the bottom, I could set, say, uh, f prime of x, and notice right away, if I click on enter, we actually get the derivative. So all I have to click is f prime, underneath, and I'll get the derivative of the function. So let me do that again. There's actually two ways to do that. I could just start typing derivative, and notice derivative of a function. If I click on enter, then I could type f of x, and we get the derivative right here. And notice, it might be hard to see, but the little symbol is an f prime. So that's one option, or GeoGebra has already prepackaged. If you click f prime of x, is another way to get the derivative of the function right here, f prime. 